So on behalf of the Institute for Critical Infrastructure Technology, I want to welcome all of you to our inaugural gala and benefit. Now, with cybersecurity still in its relative stage of infancy, it's fitting that the 2016 ICIT Pioneer honors a man who has not only dedicated his life to national security, but has been a pace setter and a true leader in the field that he helped partially define. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Institute for Critical Infrastructure Technology, please help me in welcoming our 2016 ICIT Pioneer, Mr. Keith Alexander. Harm and James, uh, you guys have done an incredible job here at ICIT. So you ought to be really proud of your accomplishments and what you're doing to establish a cybersecurity think tank, the work that you've done in bringing everybody together is so really great. You know, we have a great country. We have great people. We have some issues, and you can tell by the election that there are systemic issues that have to be solved, but it can only be solved if we come together as a, as a country. And in cyber, it's the same thing. We have tremendous issues in cyber. Government can't do it without industry, and industry can't do it without government. And so we have to find a way to work together to solve these problems. Events like this that bring industry players, so thanks Rob for what you and what Silence and Centrify and others have done to help bring this together, with government players, it's the only way we're going to solve that problem. What truly sets him apart is his ability to remain humble and gracious. Despite the tremendous weight of his responsibility and the reverberating impact of his actions, Tony Scott offers all of us a profound example of what strong and balanced leadership should look like. So I want to just take a moment to say thank you for the tremendous support I felt uh, in what is, I think, the issue of our time and, and working on the issues of our time. And one of the great things is anytime you have an opportunity to information share, especially if it's based on great research and ideas that are coming from the best folks in our industry, that's a great opportunity for the whole industry. And so I really appreciate the work that ICIT does in this space. Uh, and I hope it keeps going for a really long time. So ICIT, I think the, the, the biggest value that they provide uh, has to do with bringing real practitioners into the environment to actually deal with real issues. You know, it's just not something that you get today. Uh, we get a lot of information about security and infrastructure from vendors, so having a place to go where we can get information that is unbiased is incredibly important in a time of increasing threats to our infrastructure. Thank you, and thank you to ICIT for bringing this ability for private sector and government to come together and look at how so much of what we live and breathe and so much of our world today is connected through cybersecurity to be able to bring all the experts in those different sectors together in a way that's both business and social and connects private sector and government. I think the most important thing that ICIT does is make available this information to the lawmakers and the legislators who have to try to understand this. Those of us in the industry often forget that very few people really understand the complexity and the detail that are behind the problems that are facing us in cybersecurity. ICIT is providing a vital bridge between those who are operating on the ground, who have their uh, feet on the ground in the trenches, and the legislators who are trying to understand what they can do. What really matters is that they actually care. You know, we get a lot of people who want to be involved in us, and this is not purely a marketing exercise. You have to show that you care about the country, you care about what you do, you care about the profession, and you want to move it forward as part of the greater good.